What's going on, everybody? Uh, this video is not really knocking. It is kind of in a way, but it's not. I know the Oregon EXL chain is a good chain, and it cuts good. Uh, but what I'm getting at today is you need to be careful where you buy the reel from. Uh, you know, I made a shorter video showing that I got a reel. I was wanting to order the CK... Uh, the square ground semi skip chain and they sent me that i was going to send it back and i decided to keep it uh just because i was getting low on my full comp chain from holes forma and i kind of didn't want to deal with the hassle of sending it back in a sense uh and i thought well it cuts good i'll just get it keep it use it maybe make some loops and sell it sell some and try to get because i sell some chain to some local guys uh here and there but uh that will be the first and the last 100 foot reel that i buy of the organ exl because the whole forma uh chain is cheaper and just as good if not better to me it stretches no more no less and the cutter profile is just exactly just about the same uh, this is the whole forma cutter tooth one that i took off when i was making a loop it's got a little bit of a beak there there's the grind on it there's the tooth. And then if I can get some of this EXL up here, I'll show you it. But then I'm gonna show you the reason why I'm not so crazy about it. Uh, and this is the Oregon EXL. It's really, really close. Uh, keep kicking my stand. Get this turn the way I want to get it turned. Get this turn the way I want to get turned. Anyway. Uh, I put these side by side and really they're about the same length. Uh, you know, they're fairly close. You actually get a little more cutter tooth, I think, on the uh, whole forma. And I'll show you straight off the loop. I'm not so crazy about the skip chain from whole forma, but I really love this uh, full comp chain. And it's uh, the cutter tooth is like the EXL, and then the bottom of the chain is like the steel chain. And I've never had this problem with the whole forma. But, and I've only cut one loop off of this Oregon EXL. This is the Oregon EXL right here. I started filing it, and some of the teeth filed good. And this is a fairly new file, and some of the teeth, it looks like I tried to start this one. I'm not gonna run, run my good file, but I got an older file. This thing's hard as a rock. It's like it's got too hot. I don't think I got them too hot. I don't know why I would've got them too hot. I didn't cut that much. It's every other tooth. This tooth bites good. Starts moving material. Let's go to this tooth. This one's decent. And it might've been only four or five teeth, but still yet now. I'm 
really having to push. It's just, uh, I don't know what the deal is with it. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That is horrible. That is horrible. It's hard as a daggum rock. I mean, if you if you want to grind them, if you had a grinder, or I mean, I've got a grinder. If you uh, want to run ground chain or grind one. It wouldn't be that bad, but to me, for a four hundred dollar chain, reel a chain, ever two should be very good. And here's some old form of chain that I run just the same as I run anything. I've hand sharpened this. And I don't care to get my new file on it. But it's nice. It's real nice. It don't. I mean, it needs to be tighter, obviously. I can't say it. Of course, it needs to be tighter in the vise than this to get a good sharpening, like it would be on the uh, bar or whatever. And sometimes I twist when I go, and sometimes I don't. You know, the, the file's rolled just every two, so I'll kind of rotate the file in my hand so I'm not wearing out the same same spot or whatever. I got off on my filing because I wasn't paying attention. But that's pretty good. So what I'm getting at is, you know, uh, $230 if your US stock can have it in two or three days. The whole swarm is 230 bucks. Uh, and the, uh, that's tax all shipping, about 230 bucks, maybe 235. And the Oregon EXL is uh, 430 tax and all shipped and all that kind of crap. So, you know, to me, and I know I'm gonna have some people say, well, you're supporting China. Well, I mean, come on. 99% uh, of the crap that's over here is uh, made in China or whatever. So uh, I've had a couple people comment that. Uh, but when they see me running the whole swarm of saw or uh, talking about the chain. So, but anyhow, to me, that Oregon chain for $430. I'm just getting down here for the evening, trying to get set up. I've got some stuff to look at. Uh, gentleman brought me a uh, concrete saw, three blowers, and a weed eater to look at. Uh, they said they run when they was put up. Of course, they've been setting, so I'm sure it's probably a carb issue unless they was uh, having trouble when they got put up. But we're going to check it out. This video is sponsored by Big Red. So that's some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but in all reality, I'm not knocking Oregon Chain because we all know it cuts good. Uh, we all know it does really, really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the loop of this off of the Oregon brand new and get a brand new, which I've got a brand new one on the 500i. I'm going to get a brand new whole form of uh, loop made up of the full comp and I'm going to uh, test them and see which one cuts a little better 
I know that I've done a test on like the Husqvarna and the Archer and Holswarma and the LGX Oregon, but I didn't have the uh, EXL. So now I've got the XL and we'll try it. But what I'm getting, and I'll order this offline, but what I'm getting at is be careful who you order from. I don't know what the deal is with this. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this or not. But my thing is, for $430, you're not be having problems like hardened teeth. Like they got too hard. And some people like really hard teeth. They stay sharper longer. But this, this is different. This is like, uh, you know, the file just skates across it. They don't even try to bite in, and it's a brand new file. Some teeth, it bites in. So what I'm getting at is either some of the teeth are really way too soft, which I don't think so because they're about in line with all the other chains. Uh, you know, steel to me is about, the, the steel RS is about the hardest chain, and it's not too hard to file like those cutter teeth are. Uh, the ones that I showed you are the ones that the file just skated across. You can eventually get it to bite in because I've done a couple teeth. But, I mean, you got to apply some pressure and you really got to, I mean, you're just dang near wearing a file out on two teeth. Uh, that's why that one file is fairly new and already looks like it's done sharpened about a thousand teeth. I'm not going to sit there and, and rub on... You ought to be able, what I'm getting at is you ought to be able to, if it's dull like that, and it wasn't completely dull, it just needed a touch up. You ought to be able to run your file across that thing a couple times, move a little material, and be sharp. You shouldn't have to sit there and dig in, dig in, dig in, and get, you know, down to uh, three quarters of the tooth, or, you know, take a quarter of the tooth off before you can start sharpening it, is what I'm saying. So what, I, what I'm getting at is just be careful uh, where you're ordering this from, and when you get it, uh, it might not hurt to check a little bit of it, you know, check a few teeth before you uh, bust the loop off and try to make it. So, and I don't know, like say, it just may be a, a freak thing on this loop right here. Yeah, it may get better when I get in there. Like say, I'll make a couple more loops off of it and try it and see how it does. But I'm here to tell you right now, if you're wanting to get into making your own chain, because I've seen, uh, I think Richard Flagg had a video up of what loops are costing now. And they're upwards of for like a tw 20 to two foot uh, chain. And I don't, you know, It'd give it to, these are like at big box stores, I think. You probably can find them just a little bit cheaper. But they were upwards close to $40. And uh, with a 100-foot reel running 28s and two-footers, I can make dang near, uh, I think, 20 chain, close to 20 chain. Uh maybe a little more maybe a little less i don't you know give or take some i haven't really counted how many loops i've got off a of reel but it's a thousand sixty so you know if you got 92 just say if you got uh 84 10 10 chains would be 800 so you, you may get 15 chains so you know 15 times 40 that's quite a bit of money so uh, you're saving money by making loot. But what I'm getting at is, if you're going to buy a real chain and you're just like me, uh, even if you're a full time logger, uh, unless you're just really brand law and brand specific, it to me it would be worth your time and money to try that whole swarm run because on 99% of the videos that you see me cutting up, cutting with, whether it be you know, whether it was running that 592, running that 395, the 500, whatever, all the big saws, I've been running that whole swarm of chain. And if I wouldn't run it in the cutting videos, I have run it sometime or another with a whole swarm of chain. I've done went through 100, one 100 foot reel of the whole swarm of chain 
And I've still got some loops left over with some few teeth here and there. You know, I'll play around with them and whatnot, I was playing with them on my grinder, and they're still about halfway. Uh, and I'll eventually circulate them back into the rotation. Uh, uh, some of them I did, like tried to do that uh, hexa grind on them, and my angles was kind of aggressive for the hexa. I uh, found out if you uh, do like 22 degrees on your stone, you kind of get that. But anyway, I'm not trying to get off on that topic. But what I'm saying is, it'll be worth it to uh, check out that whole swimmer chain. If you're not sure if you'll like it, uh, just buy one loop of it at first, you know, whatever size you run, buy one loop of it, see how you like it. And then uh, if you like it and you break your own chain, get the whole reel because I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. To me, it cuts just as good as the steel and or the Oregon EXL. It's got the same stretch. Uh, characteristics every chain I put on uh, you run it a little bit the first initial put on it stretches some you know it stretches a little bit and uh, at least for the gauge I'm running I'm running 050 gauge and the lengths I'm running the biggest I run is 32 and I do have a, a three footer but I hardly ever run that uh, I have run it some but what I'm saying is for that kind of cutting, that size chain and everything, the whole form of chain, at least the full full comp, uh, full chisel, it acts just just as good. It acts, you know, the stretch uh, characteristics are the same. You put it on, run it a little bit, it has a little stretch. You tighten it up. As long as you don't run it too tight, if you run it average, tighten it up and it's good for a long while you know so i just wanted to, to share that bit of info with you now that i do have the the oregon exl uh like i say that'll be the last loop i'm buying and if you have a grinder and that's the only way you sharpen and you want a, a roll that's a roll of you want this roll of oregon exl because you'll be able to sharpen it on a grinder square or just a regular grinder. Uh, holler at me and we may work out a deal. I'll probably sell it fairly cheap just to get out from under it. And it, and you may file it and like it. I don't know. And it may get better as it gets down in the reel. But I have busted one uh, 92. I busted 92 drive links off of it. Or 91, excuse me. Or really 90. I made a 91 drive link chain. So you take 90, you add your loop, and that makes 91. So, but anyway, 90, 91 drive links or whatever is what I took off of it. So, come with 1,000, 20,000, 60, there's still about 1,000, 900 to 1,000 uh, links left. Uh, so, there you go. If uh, you're interested in, holler at me. I'd probably let the whole roll go for uh, uh, I'd sell it for 250 bucks and uh, you pay shipping or whatever or I'd sell it for you know uh, three 300 shipping included uh, We'll do it like that. I'd sell it for 300 and me pay shipping if you're interested in it. And like I say, uh, I've showed you what's wrong with it. I always try to be honest. And uh, and if you know if you want it, if you're in the United States, I'll ship anywhere in the United States uh, for that price. So that's about uh, $130 off retail. And holler at me and we can work out a deal, maybe, if you're really interested in it or something. But, uh, I just, I don't need it. I'd rather take the 250 bucks and buy me a reel of the whole Swarma. Uh, or buy the semi-skip like I really wanted, which it's really hard to find right now. So, anyway, enough of that. I'm not going to ramble and keep beating a dead horse. I just wanted to fill y'all in on this. 
and uh, you know, I don't know. We if nobody wants it, that's fine too. I'll keep it, and I will uh, just sharpen them on my grinder the first time, and then maybe they'll I can get past the hard part and start hand filing. I grind some, but I hand file mainly because I think the hand file cuts smoother and is a tad bit sharper. And plus, my thing is, uh, I don't like doing the drags or the rakers on the grinder because if you, you've got to stop there, but if you still press down too hard, you know, you're messing with thousands of an inch. And if you barely push down, if your pressure ain't the same every time, and then you're getting those drags off or rakers, whatever you want to call them, depth gauges. Uh, you're getting them off. It's really easy to get them off when you're using them on the machine. So I always ground my chain and then hand file my rakers anyhow. So I just went back to hand filing. If I got a rock chain or something that's way messed up, then I might throw it on there and uh, give it a little touch up. But uh, for the most part, if I'm just uh, hitting it a couple licks to uh, sharpen it, you know, to touch it up, and I'll just hand file it. So anyway, be careful what you buy when it comes to chain on the reel. I don't know about loops. I, don't, I ain't bought chain by the loops in two or three years. Uh, well, it ain't been that long. It's probably been about two years, a year. Uh, well, I guess it's been about a year. But still, I wasn't buying just a ton of loops then. Because uh, I got this right when I got my channel, right when I started the channel, or somewhat after it, somewhere in there. So, uh, anyway, it felt like two or three years. But anyhow, like I say, it's... Uh, Uh, Semi-skip holes formula is not bad. I just don't like it because it's so wide. It don't work on some of my uh, steel saws. And I was thought about getting a skip on that, but honestly, uh, I know it takes a long sharpen, but the, the full comp really cuts better for what I'm doing most of the time. Now, if I'm firewooding, uh, I'll either run an old... Uh, full chisel or I will run the skip because I don't want to sit there and be sharpening a new chain and messing up new chain on firewood. So anyway, enough rambling, done with that. Just be careful what you get and uh, appreciate y'all and we'll see you later.